Hey there guys, the PC guy here, this time showing you how to put in RAN in your PC. It's not a very difficult procedure, but nevertheless, uh, if you've never done it, well, you'll need to know how to. Now, RAM goes on these long slots, as you can see here. There's four of them in this mother one in particular. There might be two on yours, uh, or even more if you have a very, very high-end one, in which case, hello, you will need to watch this video. But uh, in any case, uh, you need to know which ones to use. Obviously, if you have four sticks, you'll use all four. If you only have one or two, you should use them. Uh, well, one uh, is one anyway. Uh, if you have two, you should use them in combinations of two because of the dual uh, data height technology with, from this dual channel uh, configuration that most motherboards utilize. For knowing which ones to use, check your motherboard manual. Uh, in the case of this one, if I have two sticks, it's telling me to use the B2 and A2. Uh, how do you know which ones it is? There is a little list here, uh, as you can see above. Here it's difficult to aim. Uh, this list right here tells you which ones are which and which ones you should use first. So as you can see, uh, it tells me quite clearly which ones it is I need to use and which position they are. Now, second step, obviously, grab your ham. Uh, I have uh, some uh, G-Skill Trident ZRGB, which I will be installing. I use them on my own PC and I'm very satisfied with them. Knowing which ones I need to use, you want to take these little flaps that it has on each side and open them so you can actually put your ham in there. And I apologize for the shade, but the lighting is not the best in this uh, house. Now, uh, as you can notice, each of the two halves, it is divided in half. As you can see, there's a part where there's a little uh, plastic bit dividing the connector the, where the pins go in half. Uh, they are not the same length. So it, that means that your hamstick needs to be in a certain orientation, otherwise it won't physically fit in the socket. So you want to make sure that uh, the long end of the stick, so to say, goes on the correct side, and otherwise it won't physically fit and you can actually damage the little gold pins at the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to just uh, get it in here. So. I'm not actually pushing yet. You want to just lightly push. It, well, I say lightly, but it might actually require some uh, degree of uh, force to actually get it in there. And as you probably heard, it slid in place after uh, a little bit of force. Now, you don't want to force it too much, obviously, but uh, it does require some force. And the little clamps on the side, they slide in place by themselves. You don't have to slide them manually. They uh, do it by themselves once the module is in position. Now, you can, if you have multiple modules, like uh, in this case, I have two, uh, grab the second one and, uh, well, basically uh, repeat the process. You know what to do now. As you can see, they are in there nice and sturdy, ready to shine when the PC is turned on. This has been Eddie PC Guy. I uh, hope this has been useful. Uh, like and subscribe and subs uh, give us some suggestions for future content in the comments below. Tell us what you think of the videos and all of that. And uh, I'll see you next time.